This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Last, last night on social media was quite heated as fans of Ricardo Banks and Bonaboy went at each other. It all started when a Twitter user tweeted at Bonaboy saying, if you are to go on a hit battle with a fellow Nigerian artist, who would that be? Bonaboy responded saying, I don't really know what a hit battle is, but I am willing to go toe to toe with any worthy challenger lyrically musically physically however they want it and that was when ricardo banks responded tweeting at bonner boy saying i am that energy i am game that energy let's get it bonner boy now said you know i got too much love for you boo but didn't you see when i said worthy challenger ricky you and that was how two seconds everywhere busts <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you know, we have um, reactions on social media, but before that, Benny, go ahead. Uh, when I saw this yesterday, right, I was just, I was just laughing. I was like, this is typical of the boy, and I don't, I don't fault him in any way. And again, um, I think we should take it very, we should take it on the very funny side because. I wouldn't have expected anything less from Bonobo. A hit battle would be maybe what, what a rap battle is between two rappers who are trying to claim um, they own the five mics. You know, and so if you feel you're a singer, you, you can... Did you see the battle between Saz and who was the other guy? She's, uh, she's, she, she, yeah, I think that was basically what they yeah. were trying to do. You know, yeah. and so, I mean, for Ricky to have jumped on Neat, I, I don't necessarily think he was thinking it was much for Bonobo because if he was thinking so... Um, I don't, I don't know. And Why do you think he's no match for Bonaboy? Um, given, given, given all the accolades Bonaboy has he's right now, he's one, this right is right a, he's now. one of he's the big. about your art I mean, and what we'll talk you about can hits. do. We're we'll talking okay. about who's had the most single hits. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the last two years, Rick, Ricky has been pretty quiet musically. After he left, uh, maybe, maybe record, we've only been able to have like one, two, three singles from him mm -hmm. in, in the space of like two, three years. And Bon has thrown out so many singles. I Ricky mean, left maybe in last year. Was it last year? Yes. I was thinking it was late mm -mm. 20, 2018. It should be early 2019. You know? And so we've not, we've not had so many hit singles from, 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 um, from Ricky. We can count how many singles was, he dropped last year. And so when it comes to that, Bonner, Bonner tops it all. You know? And so Bonner was being a typical you know, arrogant self when he tell him, you know, I mean, he laughed. It, there were three smileys of laugh before mm -hmm. he now said, you know, I mean, hey, I mean, you missed out the part where I said, you know, a, a worthy challenger. And again, it's a given. Bonner, Bonner, is, Bonner is bigger. Bonner is bigger than Ricky. Yes, you know, agreed. But African does, does, because you know. somebody's bigger than somebody else doesn't mean that they're not a worthy challenger. Well, so he, I'm, I'm, well, Bonner didn't see him as he didn't expect that the, the whoever the challenger was going to be was going to be Ricky. So, so who, who you, was he expecting yeah, it from? I, I don't know anyone else. Because the Maybe. question is, yeah. the question is, he, the person specifically, specifically said Nigerian artist, yeah. right? And he said he's ready for any worthy contender. Yeah. So I need to take these reactions. But before yeah. that, who, in your opinion, now since you think. Ricardo Bank is it's, not a yeah. match for Bonaboy. Yeah. No, Ricardo Bank Since is not you a match think so, yeah. it? who is um, the you call I, I could put Bon Bonner could come in a line of people in the likes of um, now. Maybe we argue that put put him in the lines of Two Face Adibia. <laughs> Yes, put him in the line of two faces. That's a disrespect. That's a no, that is not. But anyway, hold, 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 hold on. Hold on. Not Before we get into this, please. let me please. take the reaction. Oh for my you. goodness, Wait, my heart is set it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Ashiwaju Larry says, "What Ricardo Banks has achieved in the music industry, Bonner Boy can never match his achievements if they removed all the filler tracks he sampled." Bam. Then at Israel, at Israel Annie says, "Bonner Boy that only samples other people's song, just called a creative songwriter like Ricardo Bank an unworthy challenger." If we are being honest. In terms of original and quality content, Bonaboy no rich wiki. Um, popular journalist, music journalist Joy Akan says Bonaboy was cruel to Ricardo Banks. It is it isn't banned or anything that can be excused. It's just plain old disrespectful to say what he said. Um, he could have chosen to say nothing or found a better way, but that disrespect cuts too deep. His God complex is on a roll. Corey De Bello, of course, we all know Corey De Bello. He says, what are your insecurities? I mean, he actually tagged Bernard Boy to say, what yeah. are your insecurities? Even giants feel vulnerable sometimes. And then Pat Rankin comes in to say, instead, make we artists come together and contribute money to support people. This one's way no day online. No. They understand waiting giveaway mean. Um, basically saying they should gather money to go to the slum instead of just um, giving out online. And it says, um, when I did here, they talk about the V and the wise up or whatever he was trying to say. So, yeah. So based on that reaction and your reaction, what are you going to say? I, I'm, I'm still, I'm not over um, Benny, Benny <laughs> <laughs> Two-Face. How dare you, please? 
Burna Boy is such that I said, a... That I said Too Faced doesn't necessarily mean that Burna Boy is bigger than Too Faced. No, but... He's a one-day challenger. We are talking about one-day challenger. Yes, that's that's if you're talking, talking about that, then Burna Boy is not a one-day challenger for Too Faced. So what I'm saying, so Ricardo Bang doesn't come close to Burna Boy when it comes to that. And Burna Boy comes close to Too Faced? Two Face, Bonner Boy isn't bigger than, than Two Face, but Two Face would be a world challenger. Well, the cattle back so isn't. So, you know the thing it is, doesn't I'm, I'm kind of angry at myself right now yeah. because I was too busy before we came on air that I didn't have the time to bring out the list of songs that um, Ricardo has actually released since he left Maven. And even before. We can count them. I mean, you can't, can't count them. Rora, um, mm -hmm. what's the other one? Rora, was, Rora still remains one of his biggest hits so far. Mm. Um, then what's the other one again? There's. Oh, the, 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 the follow-up after... You're not a fan, off, so you wouldn't know. The follow-up after Rora, it's, it's what was played. You, you, We're talking you, about even playlists, your, your, what was your, on radio. You know I mean? Do you understand that sense. when... You you I'm just, not going to... Sorry to cut you. Yeah. I'm not going to downplay... Um, <clears throat> what's this guy's name now? Skibby's hustle in the industry and how he has tried to push himself. Yeah. But do you realize that his comeback or his finally blowing is a make of Ricardo on that his song? Yeah. Do you realize that? Mm, I, Do you I, want to argue I, I, that I, no, as well? No, no, I, have, I, have, I, have, I, have, I disagree to that. Without Ricardo on, on that song, that song was really? a really hit song. Without, what did Ricardo really do on that song? Let's analyze what Ricardo really said on that song. What is Bernard Boy doing on most of the So songs, what yeah. did what did no, because you're saying, you're saying that Skibby, song. Skibby, that song What did Skibby do on that Ricardo song Bank that he has not done no. on other songs that did no, not give I the hits over? Without Ricardo Bank, that song was already a hit song by how Skibby. Would you say, how would you make that logic? All right, because the question is, what did Skibby, what did Ricardo Bank really say on that song? Let's analyze what he really did on that song. Except you want to start questioning what every big artist have done on that song. That's basically it. Okay, would you now so say, hold on, would you exactly say Bonner Boy did not have an influence on Zlatan? Bonner Boy did not have what? An influence on Zlatan based on, what's the name of that, their song? Um, um, is it Killing Them? Killing yes. Them. Do you, would you say Bonner Boy did not have an influence on Zlatan's career? Who owns the song? It's a simple question. It's a simple question. No, but nah. I want to know who owns the then song. What was I don't the point? get it. I Answer the question. Do you think that Bernard Boy has no, an influence understand. on that? I want to understand. No, it's a simple what question. No, it's Do not a simple think question. It is. Don't, it is. don't make me answer. I want to understand it. I will answer when I understand what she's trying to get at. Do you think right. that there is an influence given to um, Zatlan by pairing up with Bernard Boy on that music song? I still don't understand the question. Okay. Um, moving okay. on. Okay. My, my point you. is that <laughs> um, if you say, when when they do a challenge, like this thing first started with, um, um, what's his name? Saz and Shish. Cheesy, it was cheesy, however you say his name. Now, it was obvious who won. Saz won that thing. But, and he had more songs, more hits, it was clear. But this person, Ch Ch um, Cheesy, has a lot of good music. And he, cheesy. Cheesy. And he had been singing, he has been working in the industry for a long time. But you cannot, like, it was obvious, right? Mm -hmm. So we're not saying that you have to be just as big. But can your, qu the quality of the music that you've done, can it actually stand? And I think that, that that's where Ricardo Banks was coming from. And I feel like he has every right to do that, to say that. Anybody else you want to pair Burner Boy with, saying, especially with, especially with um, Two Face. No, it's not a competition. Oh, okay. I'm just saying he, ha he this, is, this is not about who's going to win. This is about whether or not Ricardo Banks can compete. That's where I'm on. I'm, I'm going on about. Mm -hmm. He can compete with Bernard Boy. Will Bernard Boy eat him alive? Yes. But can he compete? Then, that, is he then a he's not a worthy contender. He is. He if, is. You just said Bernard Boy is going to eat him alive. Then he's because not a worthy contender. Because somebody alive doesn't mean... It wouldn't always be one winner. So he's not all, a worthy, all, the, all the people that have... If you're in a matching box... And it's an opinion, right? Anthony, he's Anthony, not whatever. a worthy... If Bernard Boy is going to eat him alive, then he's not a worthy contender. No. Um, I'm trying to remember the last um, boxing, big boxing match we all watched. Um, please, someone help me with your name now because I'm not a sports person. But, yeah. Uh, what's their name now? You God, watch... God, 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 Deion De Wilder wait, 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 and... Um, um, hey, what's this white dude's name with a black man's name? Fury. 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 Okay, so would, would you say Fury at um, Wilder Life? At Wilder Alive, yeah. if it did. Wilder was no match of Fury if you ever watched their first match. Oh, no, I'm telling you that Wilder was okay, never going to win. Move on because Wilder, yeah, Wilder, Wilder we'll, was no we'll, match we'll for Fury. Yeah. But personally, I feel like Ricardo is a worthy cont contender. Course. This is my own personal opinion I right agree. now. I feel like he is a worthy contender. I feel like he has done a lot um, professionally and musically in the industry. Oh, to, yeah. um, when it comes to writing music, oh, I'm please. sorry, Bonner Boy is, cannot stand anywhere close to Ricardo Banks. Why? Maybe after the show, you go and read up on Bonner no, Boy because clearly you, you are not. Like, no, how how you mean? Mean? So, but Bonaboy basically, 
basically. Great, greatest artists in the world have their songs written by other people. Is that what about. makes an artist? Oh, makes so an artist? No, I'm sorry. So, I mean, so what makes even, an artist? Even, I'm sorry. What even your Beyonce artist? has songs written exactly. for her. Okay, what are you talking about? But what makes an artist? So you can be cursed and say because he doesn't write his song doesn't make him an artist. I have not said that. I have not said that. Because Ricardo Banks doesn't have that many songs, he can't compete. I said, I'm talking, no, no, no. I said singles drop. No, you're confusing yourself. I talked about singles dropped. I've had a burner in the last couple of years. I've had so many singles okay, drop that over, makes over, over, over Ricardo Band. Like and played and played and played it's and had the most played song, even top ever. songs, over Ricardo Banks. You can't take that away from Bonner. Okay. And you can't take that. You can't take the quality of writing and, and, and in, in depth quality, beautiful music that wrote Ricardo Banks. Ricardo Banks. We're, we're not talking about writing. Why are we talking about artists and music? Musically and physically. We're talking about writing. In my opinion, it's still my opinion. Ricardo is not. And let us have our Come on,